Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis and this is in preparation for trading on November the 6th, 2019. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. All right, we will get started first of all by taking a, taking a look at our calendar here. So in terms of the news that came out today, um, we have we saw positive data here PMI uh, ISM non manufacturing PMI numbers out of the US so PMI numbers are important um, like I've mentioned before because they are leading indicators and especially the non manufacturing uh, PMI numbers because manufacturing is not the big uh, business but um, there's a lot of uh, non manufacturing PMI anyway it's better is a bigger market in the US. So the numbers came in ab above expectations and we saw the US dollar has done quite well. New Zealand dollar here, unemployment numbers were below expectations. Coming up here, we have actually, okay, so tomorrow, lots of PMI services, uh, PMI numbers out of the Eurozone. So we are looking at uh, a movement in Euro. So again, if they come in below expectations here, that will have a negative impact on the, on the Euro and we could see Euro drop as a result. Now we also have uh, FOMC members speaking here. Um, a lot of times uh, when, if there is anything unexpected that comes out of the FOMC members when they're speaking, so, are not unexpected but negative dovish so for example if they if they talk about FOMC or sorry Fed to continue cutting rates like that would be considered negative uh, or dovish so that could have a negative impact on the US dollar but other than that um, we don't have a ton of uh, we don't have a ton of uh, important or uh, you know red data coming out here uh, we do have crude oil inventories here so if there is a buildup in inventories that could have a negative impact on oil so just keep an eye on that um, other than that though um, we are fairly quiet um, in terms of uh, the major news. Only other thing to keep in mind would be um, comments from US and China trade negotiations. So equity markets are doing really well and we saw uh, Japanese yen crosses go up because there were comments um, related to the US-China uh, trade negotiations here saying that um, they need to do basically us need to take away the tariffs and president trump is considering uh taking away removing the tariffs in order to sign that first um, initial agreement here so as a result of that we have seen everything kind of went up so yen crosses as well as our equity markets went up as a result of that um and the safe haven um assets dropped. So we'll take a look at the chart in just a second, but if there are more comments or positive comments uh, like similar to today that come out, that ha will have a positive impact on the risk assets and negative impact on the safe haven assets. So let's go on to our charts here. Okay, so we'll start off with Euro dollar, big day for Euro. Yesterday we were looking for price to drop after our uh, bearish candle close today, uh, close. So today um, it went all the way into our target. So now we have, we see that price is into support. So this is an important level to watch here. Um, it is a bottom of the range that price has been trading in so far. This is what we have. Price has been trading in this range here between 1.1180 and 1.1070. So price is right here. A um, couple of different scenarios here. Overall bias is still bearish, but um, caution is that if it doesn't break today's low, then we could see price go up. So we have to be cautious. So bias is still bearish, but with caution. What we want to see is a break through the support, a pullback, and then a further drop. So bias is to the downside. And um, first target will be that. I'll draw a line just now in just a minute, sorry. And then we have the second target. So bearish bias for Euro dollar. 
um, and in terms of the target, first target is 1.1020, and the second target here uh, will be 1.0980. So bias is bearish here for euro dollar. Pound dollar here, bias is a bearish for this one. Yesterday we were looking for a drop. Price didn't really do a whole lot. It just went sideways here. The important thing is that it stayed below 1.2920. For tomorrow here, um, we're looking for price to stay. So my bias is to the downside. Now we could get a bit of a pullback still, but looking for price to drop back into the support level at 1.2790. So bearish bias here for pound dollar as well. Aussie here, um, Aussie, we see that price is um, a trading in a range. So for the last several days, price has just traded in this range here between uh, 0 0.6920 and 0 0.6880. So that's the range it's been trading in. So here, um, what I'm looking for is to see what happens at the bottom. So bias is bearish. Today we see that price has rejected the high. This is the fourth time a price has not been able to go through this through the resistance here. It's rejected the resistance. So now I would like to see a drop and a pullback and a drop. So bias is bearish and this is the move I would look for for it to continue. Now same thing as we saw in our euro Bias is bearish, but if it doesn't drop through the support level, this one can go back up again. So we just need to be careful with that, but bias is bearish. Target, first target is 0 0.6850, second target 0 0.6800. So bearish bias for Aussie dollar. New Zealand dollar, this one is looking bearish. Yesterday we were looking for a drop. We got that right into our first, uh, first target here. So today's candle is still bearish, looking for a further drop here. Uh, target is 0 0.6320, the base of these candles. And if it goes below that, we're looking at 0 0.6280. So bearish bias here for New Zealand dollar as well. Dollar CAD here, this one has um, just traded in both directions here. It did go into the pullback level that we were looking for and it went right into the support level we were looking for as well. So it went in both directions. The candle close that we have for today is a neutral candle. We have a small candle body and pins on both sides giving us a neutral bias. There's no direction at this point. So bias is neutral for this. Um, and what I would look for is to see how price reacts into support. So if price goes into support but holds above, chances are we are going higher. So um, looking for a bit of a pullback and then this one could go higher. But if it goes into 1.3180 and then fails here, it could still get stuck in this range. So neutral bias, not the best one to trade right now. Um, until we get a better direction from this one, but neutral bias. So I would just look for price to trade sideways here. Let's take a look at commodities here. We'll start off with silver. Silver, yesterday we talked about um, this being bearish and we have seen this big drop to the downside here. Now price is um, still looking bearish here, but we are into support. So time to be careful now. Uh, but bearish bias regardless. So what I would look for here would be a couple of things. One, from our technical perspective, we need to basically um, look, we're looking for a continuation move to the downside. So we could get a pullback into 17.65 or 17.75 and then we could see a drop. Another thing is we do need to pay attention to the developments from US and China perspective. So right now there has been talk that President Trump is looking to um, get rid of some tariffs. Um, if that happens, then we are likely to see that agreement go through and that will be positive for the equity markets, but negative for safe haven assets like gold, silver, um, Japanese yen, Swiss franc, all of these. So that will make a difference. So um, at this point, I am bearish on this, but should the commentary change, the bias can change 
based on that. But for now, bias is bearish because if they cannot come to an agreement on the tariffs, that agreement that overall US and China negotiations are going to fall apart. And that would be bearish for the equity markets, but positive for safe haven, which means it could go higher. For now, though, looking for a continuation of this bearish momentum, next target is 17.25. So bearish bias here for silver. Gold here, same thing. Yesterday, we were looking for a drop. We got that drop. And now um, we are right into the support. So last time, price was bearish here. It went up. Bearish again went up. So it has been rejecting the support level. But today's candle close is quite solid. So bias is still bearish. But again, what I will look for is developments um, in the US and China, trade negotiations, any negative comments is likely to push this up. So just watch out for that. Um, other than that though, overall the bias is still bearish. So I will look for a bit of a pullback potentially into 1492 um, level here and then a drop. Um, and target here is 1457, but it's very important to pay attention to 1479. If it doesn't go below this, then it could go back up, right? So bias is bearish for now. Oil, oil is looking bullish, but it is into resistance. So again, we have to see how it reacts at this 57.30 level. If it stays below, then we could see a drop but the candle close for today is bullish. So we could see price go through this level. Uh, and the next target then is 58.30. So bullish or 58.50, I should say. So bias is bullish, um, but again, because it's into resistance, if it doesn't go through, it could come back. So this is where price has reacted several times before and it could drop. Uh, support resistance is coming all the way from here. So bullish bias, but with caution here for oil as well. Copper looking bullish. It has broken through this previous resistance level. Um, and next here, uh, so bias is bullish. We could get a pullback into 2.65 here. And then further target is 2.70 is the next target back all the way back here. So bullish bias here for copper. Bitcoin still going sideways here. It tested the bottom here, but hasn't really done much. So right now it's sideways, neutral bias. I will look for it to trade in this range that it's stuck in right now between 89.60 and 97.25. So neutral bias here for Bitcoin. Equity markets here. So we saw a push higher, but price has dropped from there. So if you take a look here, uh, price has come down and now we do have a daily pin bar here. So that is a bearish signal and I look for price to drop. So bearish bias for S&P 500, looking for it to come towards the base of this candle at 3060, um, 3065 and then next target would be 3050. So bearish bias and then all the way into 3020. So bearish bias here for uh, S&P 500, but any positive comments, like I said, could make a change and we could see prices um, go up. So keep an eye on your newsfeed uh, for any developments around US and China trade negotiations. This one is looking neutral here, uh, but price could not really hold above yesterday's highs. We are at all time, all time highs in the market right now. Um, so watch out, bias is neutral. If it doesn't break above 80 to 20, we could see this one drop here. So first target is 81.50, and then we are looking at um, 80.20. So um, this one could also drop here, but the bias is neutral, but looks like this one could drop. Um, our Dow here, Dow Jones looking a little weak here as well. Bias is neutral here. Um, there is rejection of the high, so we could see price drop a little. Um, and target here, if it breaks the breaks today's low, then we are definitely looking for a further drop. Target would be 27,300. Uh, so keep an eye on that there. 
um, but it is neutral bias. If it holds above today's high, then this one could go higher into uh, 27,600 level here. But right now it's, it's trying, so we'll see. Um, for now, it's neutral. I think we could see a turn. It's just been so bullish here. Um, things could turn, so I'm waiting for that turn in the markets for now but we have to wait for it to come through before we can take it. So uh, bias right now is neutral. I will just look to see which way, if it holds above today's low, then looking for it to go higher. Um, and now we have, this is our DAX. DAX is looking bullish here still. Um, next target is 13,200, but again, the it's into all, um, it's into these highs here, so just be careful here. Uh, but bias is bullish, 13,200 is the next target, then we have 13,250 as the next target there. So bullish bias for DAX. FTSE here, um, also bullish, is holding above this previous level at 7370 uh, level. As long as it stays above, I will look for it to go test the high. So this entire move to the downside, got filled like we talked about previously. So this is all getting filled now. 74.40 is the target. Last but not least, Nikkei also looking bullish. It's struggling with today's high though. So if it doesn't break through today's high, this one could drop, but it is looking bullish. So next target here is 23,500. So overall bias is bullish. All right, so that's it for today. And we will wrap it up here. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.